So good day everyone. Uh, welcome back to today's class where we're going to be looking at study session 5 uh, titled uh, Word uh, Processing. The learning objective is to uh, be able to use word processing software to create and format test uh, documents. Uh, you should also be able to insert images and tables. Use formatting tools, you know, to check spelling and grammar. Learners should also be able to save, print and share uh, documents in various uh, formats. Introduction. Uh, word processing refers to the creation, uh, you know, editing, formatting, storage, and output of documents, uh, primarily text, uh, using computer uh, software, just like uh, Microsoft uh, Word. So this uh, unit gives you an overview of uh, word processing and the different uh, word processing uh, tools that a uh, user can use to, you know, uh, prepare a document. So overview of word processing. Mm -hmm. Word processing, just like we really said, uh, just like uh, Microsoft Word uh, as a software, is a computer program, uh, an application program to be specific, that enables uh, you know, users to create, you know, edit and format test uh, documents. So it provides various tools for formatting of this uh, text, uh, such as font styles, you know, and the sizes, uh, colors, <clears throat> alignment and uh, spacing it also offers uh, advanced features like uh, insertion of uh, images so the application interface provides uh, you know interfaces for uh, attaching or importing uh, images uh, also it gives you a uh, feature to also either import or you know insert tables and uh, other graphical uh, elements enhancing thereby enhancing document readability so key features include test entry, uh, formatting, uh, editing, grammar and spelling check, inclusion of non-text elements, uh, templates, printing, uh, publishing, and real-time uh, collaboration with other uh, users via the internet. <clears throat> Creating and formatting uh, a typical test document in Microsoft Word. So depending on the version of uh, Microsoft Word you are using, uh, it is uh, possible to uh, create and format test documents. So uh, the first step starts with, uh, you know, so it is assume you have uh, installed the Microsoft Word application. So you can follow through uh, the system uh, interface by, by pressing either the Windows uh, key to uh, launch the uh, Microsoft Word uh, application or the Word processing application. So to create and format a test document in word processing software, uh, you have to open the software, just like uh, we made mention, and then uh, create a new document and type your text, right? Just like we can see in the in the chart by the left hand side, where uh, a typical uh, Microsoft Word uh, uh, Office has been launched. <clears throat> And then so uh, you can as well use tools like uh, font style, uh, you know, font size, bold italic and several others, just like we can see uh, in the chart to actually uh, prepare or format your documents. So these tools, uh, you can also use these tools to emphasize uh, the text, uh, align it to different uh, positions, uh, reduce the font size, uh, add colors, adjust line spacing. Uh, you can even create lists with bullets or numbers and indent uh, the entire paragraph as uh, it suits you or the users. Uh, insert an element into a document. So uh, still on the Word um, file or the Word document to insert an image, table or other graphical element into a text document in word processing software. First thing, you have to position your cursor uh, and then select the insert tab or menu uh option choose the type of element and then provide additional information like file selection or table uh, number and then once the element is inserted you can format it using available tools uh, within the software uh, program so checking spelling and grammar so to check spelling and grammar in a word processing program like ms word or microsoft word you will uh, have to open the document click on the review tab uh, just like we've seen in the chart or in the uh, figure, 
uh, open the document click on the review tab and find the spelling and grammar button in the proofing section click on the button to start the checking process if an error is found the program will suggest uh, a correction or the uh, correct spelling and you can accept or ignore uh, if does if it is not still uh, okay or make your own uh, correction to be added to the uh, program uh, dictionary for subsequent uh, usage so the program may also flag correct words to be added to the dictionary just like i've just uh, mentioned uh, the safe print and share uh, document functionalities so after typing uh, certain words or text uh, it is possible to you know save uh, print or even share the document so to do that um in word processing first you have to click on the file uh, button uh, tab select save uh, as if you want to save or save as uh, so the difference between the save and then the save as save will just give you the general uh, saving uh, especially if you are saving that document for the very first time and then you give it a file name and then uh, let's assume you've already saved the document and then if you want to change the different file uh, name uh, instead of clicking on the save you will uh, want to go to save as uh, that will give you an option to you know further give it a different uh, file name and then uh, by choosing the location and the name of the file type right and then uh, you click uh, save <clears throat> and then the same procedure uh, goes for printing the document uh, you still have to go to the file tab in the programs uh, ribbon at the top of the screen and then you click on uh, print uh, by clicking on the print uh, tab uh, you will see uh, different options to select the printers and then the printing uh, properties you can as well print the entire uh, document so the same thing is also applicable when it comes to sharing uh, the document so you go to the same tab in the program's uh, ribbon of the uh, screen this actually varies from uh, the ms water version uh, where it will enable you to see some of these uh, features we are talking about so um, so click on share or export or save as and then choose the way you want to share the document such as by email or uploading it into a cloud uh, services depending on uh, what is uh, provided by the version of uh, microsoft what you are using and then you follow the prompts to complete the, the sharing uh, process so in summary uh, we're able to look at word processing uh, which involves creating editing and formatting text documents using uh, softwares like microsoft word uh, other word processing uh, can take in the form of uh, google docs or apple pages so basically they allow users to create professional looking documents with uh, font styles you know formatting tools and graphical uh, elements error free documents can be saved printed or shared uh, electronically uh, self-assessment questions for study session 5 uh, saq 5.1 uh, demonstrate how to print a document in word processing SAQ 5.2 mention any five steps in checking spelling in word processing SAQ 5.3 demonstrate how to insert an image into a document in word uh, processing thank you and see you guys in the next uh, study session